Okay, so now we're going to look at setting up the neck and also the spine and tail. But when we do that, it's actually going to deform the joints underneath it uh, because we want to create a simplified curve. So uh, just to show you what's happening, uh, these are our default uh, things for the IK spline tool, which is just this one here. I'm going to turn off auto parent and click at the end joint and then click here. You don't want to be clicking at the actual shoulders or else you're going to start affecting the arms. So one joint up at the start of the neck and you'll notice that this is actually distorted a whole heap of our joints which isn't a whole lot you can do about but we don't want we don't like all this sort of distortion in the actual geometry that we've got. So I'm going to undo that and select this geometry here and just go shift P to unparent them. And now when I go through and create these joints, they'll still deform a bit. Uh, the joints will still actually move, but uh, we can bring them back quite easily. So uh, if we click, this is the curve that's actually controlling our IK handle. Our IK handle itself won't actually let you manipulate it. I'm in my transform tool. None of these actually do anything to the IK handle. So how do you control it? And that's by this curve. So I'm going to hit F8 to go into component mode and show and I'm going to turn off my polygons and I'm just going to move these these points around a bit which are just the control vertexes which is no different from what we were using previously uh, when we were making these control shapes. So I'll just adjust these and check my geometry And I'll select this point here. Bit. And so that's looking roughly back where we want it. So uh, what we can do is we can go into show and get rid of our, uh, just hide our polygons again. And now this, is, this curve is how you control this joint chain, but the only problem is it's gonna be a bit of a pain if you have to try and select these points each time you want to actually animate it. So what we're going to do is use uh, what is known as um, uh, clusters to control these points. So I'm going to go into my animation menu and up here I have uh, create deformers and then down here is clusters and I'm just going to click on that. Uh, and if I come across to my attributes I'll just drag this window over here and get rid of my KK controllers. Uh, we have this is the position of where the cluster is, which is at the moment, it's not very useful because it's gonna be hidden behind everything. So what we're going to do is actually uh, drag this up a bit. So this is X, Y, and Z coordinates. So I'm just going to hold down control and middle mouse drag inside that box. And I'll bring it just up above the rig so that it'll be easy to select. And then I'm just going to go back and select my curve and hit G to repeat the command and just do that with each of these. G. And I think I've missed one somewhere. G. Okay, great. So there are our clusters for that control there. Um, and now what we want to be doing is having these clusters, oh, hit F8 to go out of component mode and you can now select these clusters which will allow you to move the joints around and if I turn my polygons back on you'll see that that is now controlling the head which is great. Um, but what we want to be doing now is uh, if we just go through and test these you'll see that we get some nice movement 
out of here and also there. Okay, great. And then the base of the neck as well. Excellent. So what we will do now is actually just select controller and shift select control and hit P. And we'll do that for each of these. The cluster, shift select controller, hit P. This one here, the controller, and hit P. Now this last one here, we actually don't want it to attach to a controller because the controllers sometimes stray from the actual rig. And if that happens, then you're actually going to get this stretching action um, happening like that. And we don't really want that to happen at all. So we're going to make sure that this point here is uh, stays connected in proportion to uh, the rest of the joint structure. So we're just going to uh, hold down Shift, select that joint, hit P. OK, great. So that's all set up. And what you'll find is that we have these extra controls in here that you can move around to affect the neck. Uh, and now we're going to be looking at doing this for the spine and also for, for the tail. Uh, but what I'll do quickly now is just select these and parent them back to the joints. Okay, great. So that's done. And now we can actually move these around and have a look at what they're doing. So you can see we're getting some nice movement out of these. Okay, that's great. Um, so next we're going to look at setting up the spine, which we're going to do in relatively the same way. I'm going to select my spine controller, keep these same settings, at, click at the shoulder, and click one before the actual hip, and then if I go down and find the curve that it created, I can hit F8 to go into component mode. I will turn off the polygons and uh, turn them on again, and then just adjust these a little bit until I get that shape that I had back. OK, and that's looking like what we had before. And now I'm just going to go along, show, turn off the polygons again, and create deformer cluster. And going back to our cluster shape handle, holding down control and middle mouse dragging until we bring that up above the rig. Go back to our curve and repeat that over. And I'm just going to do that for each of these, making sure that they're in an easy to grab position. OK, great. So finally, I'm going to do the same thing with the tail and just set that up very quickly. So click at the end joint, back to one before the tail, and you'll notice that that's brought it up quite a bit. Show polygons. Actually, that's not looking too bad. I might just drop down this centre part here. So, turn off the polygons again. Your outline, you can find the new curve. Select that. Hit, hit F8 to, to go into component mode. And just drop that tail down a bit. You can turn on polygons and see what the tail is doing. And that's looking a little nicer there. OK, great. So I'm just going to go through and add in these clusters. And then, like what I did before at the neck, I'm just going to parent each of these clusters to the respective controllers. Hit F8 to go out of component mode. This cluster here is going to be controlled by this chest controller. I'm just going to hit P. Uh, this controller is actually going to be controlled by the torso, hit P. So shift select this middle controller, the stomach, P. And again, with this uh, control, we're going to shift select the joint and hit P. 
Now I'm just going to go in and add in my clusters uh, for the tail and then uh, just add them to each of these controllers here. And I'll see you in a moment.